Wait, someone's going to record this moment and post it. Uh, uh, my name is Jake, and I'd very much like to be excused from this narrative. <laughs> I was really hoping you were going to say, ask me about my wiener. Hi, my troublesomes. It's Miracle, and welcome back to Mind of the Miracle. <laughs> I'm so happy you guys decided to join me today and yeah we are back at it again by minding other people's business and talking about things that don't actually concern me but why not spend my day doing that you know why I have more incentive guys it's because uh, I broke my foot and I have nothing better than to watch YouTube videos all day and spend time on social media so there we are so if the title wasn't any indication today we are actually going to talk about the crazy spiraling negative effects that just happened because of Petty Pages Live yesterday, December the 12th of 2019. So for all the newcomers here, I'm going to run through all the facts that I was able to gather and then from there I'm going to share all my opinions on that at the end because I want you guys to have an unbiased viewpoint throughout the whole transaction and then from there we can have a discussion at the end and you can drop how you feel about it in the comment section and whatever what have you. So if you guys want to, you can go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification to receive further updates anytime else that I upload. And and drop a comment down below and share it with your friends because I would greatly appreciate that and let me know how I'm doing. But without further ado, here we go! So instead of calling this tea time, guys, I'm not really a, a huge tea drinker. I love the tea. But you know what? It's it's winter time. It's it's the, the holiday season. We're going to talk about this is the hot cocoa, okay? You're going to have that smooth chocolate drizzle all over our tongues. And that's why we got the black book, okay? Because this is going to be burnt into our memories. All right, so let's flip to the appropriate page. So yesterday, Petty Page was seen to be at Nick Snyder's house. And as you guys probably know, she has been in the U.S. for the last 10 days or so. All the friends who happen to be from the drama community, they all decided to come together and join in a party of merriment to enjoy and then just hang out and vibe as friends. If you guys are actually trying to find that video, you won't be able to do so easily because Petty Page has since then unlisted the video. I do have some snippets, but not enough for you to get all the cocoa flakes up in your cocoa puffs. To be honest with you, the chocolate doesn't start getting hot until about 50 minutes in so it started around oh actually i have the timestamp: 51 minutes and 46 seconds the first comment drops about what happened between everybody in the room and ashley kyle and then there are several follow-up questions about what actually happened with here for the tea and petty page and this happened not one time but about 10 or 11 times this question popped up and they really tried their best to avoid answering it from what i see it took probably a whole six minutes of this question to pop up before anyone decided to address it so after addressing the situation petty page decided to address the situation by answering what exactly happened between her and ashley kyle why she decided to unfollow her and it all revolves around the fact that Ashley Kyle decided to associate herself with Here for the Tea. Now, if you guys were not aware, Petty Page and Here for the Tea have mutually shown their lack of interest in each other and lack of appreciation of each other's existence. And that's putting it nicely. That being said, Ashley Kyle has taken it upon herself to start associating with Here for the Tea. And Petty Page did not appreciate that. The reason being is because she articulates the fact that Here for the Tea has outwardly come out against herself personally, spoken disparagingly about her family and friends, and once more said very negative things about her child. Despite the dispute that's going on between Petty Page and Here for the Tea, Asha Kyle decided that it was okay for her to still befriend Here for the Tea and not consider Petty Page's feelings. According to Petty Page, she felt like it's all Twitter is a mess for drama shows right now. Ooh, what I miss. Ooh. Hard uh, question, Ashley Kyle. Do you want to answer? <laughs> Does Santa she is Just Ashley Kyle. That was the question. Well, being asked oh, you by Ashley Kyle. Do you really want to go there? Do you want to go there? Okay, so I unfollowed Ashley Kyle 
Oh, we're talking about this. Yeah, we might as well because we're going to keep going. Okay. Everyone's, everyone be yeah. trusting. So I personally have followed Ashley Kyle because um, nothing to do with her video, as she stated online. I actually still to this day have not watched her video. But <laughs> I would like to be excused from this narrative. Yes. <laughs> but the reason that I unfollowed. Thank you. <laughs> the reason that I unfollowed Ashley Kyle was just purely because she had her whole situation with um, Here for the Tea. I don't fucking Here for the Tea. And for that reason is why I don't want anything to do with that whole situation. Anybody who associates with her at this point is not something that I wish to associate with anymore. Um, she, she said a lot of crap about me, my family, and my kids. I don't want that to be something that uh, somebody else is okay with. Um, she was very happy about the fact that Infinity was nice about her kids, and it made me feel like, oh, well, mm, fuck my kids, and then it, you know? So that's the reason why. So, nothing, nothing serious, no tease. It is what it is. Um, let me now, I will say why I unfollowed Ashley as well, because I don't like virtue um, signaling, and I also thought that she saw an opportunity that there are a lot of people going against people that are here. So she wanted to sit down and tell her truth about how she has been scared to post videos, she's been scared to speak up and all this, and it made it seem as if behind the scenes we are bullying people and be like, oh, if you speak about us or something, we're gonna come for you. That's not the case, and I don't appreciate that, and I also don't appreciate that she made it seem like we unfollowed her because of her video. I am not watching the video, and that is the point. That is why I am not just everyone. But I, mean, I have nothing. I have nothing against her. Like I'm not wishing ill on her or fucking anything. But that is the reason why I, I was. You used to. Well, the way I received it was like it wasn't a conversation that y'all planned to unfollow her. Y'all just did it on your own, and then yeah. found out y'all had did it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, so I don't want it to seem like that it was a plan. Oh. We weren't sitting around the yeah. table going, hey guys, we're going to unfollow someone today. Yeah, we're no, like that. it happened like all separate and then we talked about it. So after that situation was discussed, someone immediately came through and asked the tell-all question, what happened between Nick Snyder and T by Allie? So within that dialogue, Nick just clearly and articulately says that he no longer associates himself with Allie because, actually, you know what, I'll just insert the clip. Me. They want to know why I no longer speak to Allie. And they started falling out, so let's talk about that. Okay, we're getting into the real tea bit. The last time that Allie was here in Houston, uh, there was a little bit of a falling out. I'm not going to go into details about what that was exactly. It involved this one. I will say that, so you guys probably saw it on Twitter. Uh, and she just became very scarce during the weekend. Like, she would come here and she'd just sneak out. She was in her room the whole time. She was tweeting things like she's going to go back. To New Jersey and she's really thinking about the heroin and all of that. I don't appreciate someone coming into my home where I have had issues with things of that nature and alluding to the fact that I might go back to New Jersey and I might do this. I also don't appreciate DMs being sent around to all my friends uh, that I have relapsed without context with that because it makes it seem like I have relapsed and I am doing something hard that is very bad for me, but no, I have enjoyed my cocktail. And um, I don't like that. You can call me here, the male version here for the tea. You can call me a shitty person. You can even say I'm a fucking transphobe, which is one of the DMs she's been sending around. But you will not make it seem like I am back on drugs. Thank you very much. That's the deal. So a quick honorable mention within that live, uh, there was a question regarding who the people in attendance did not appreciate within the uh, beauty community. So which makeup artist did they not appreciate? Nick decided to answer with a quickness and he made it very apparent that he does not like Luscious Massacre again. But everybody was quick to say, be quiet. Don't start. Don't do it, honey. And <laughs> Dustin Daly was saying you better not cause Luscious to come out with another video about him again because he was not having it. And finally, the whole live closes off with a quick recap of everybody's dynamic with Smoky Glow and the drama behind that. Those in attendance did not speak disparagingly against her, from what I could see. Uh, for the most part, all they basically said was that they wished her well, and the only beef that they had with her was the fact that instead of telling 
Nick Snyder that she was not going to be in attendance for his shindig, hootenanny, whatever the case may be. She decided to go on the internet and shared with all 100,000 so of her subscribers and did not do the honorable thing of letting her friend know who issued the invitation uh, that she was not going to arrive uh, at the party. So that was just a little bit of shade thrown by her. This chocolate's about to get hot, fam, so just be prepared. Nick Snyder starts this whole thing off by mentioning how Allie decided to DM him and text message him about this whole situation. He vocalizes within the video about how much he did not want to address this, he just wanted to leave it alone, but he wanted to get all his thoughts and feelings out about this whole situation because it just rubbed him the wrong way. But on Twitter, she was singing another tune. Nick Snyder calls her out on that claim and basically said, girl, you speaking a whole bunch of hoopla. Also then emotionally goes over the fact that he felt very, very hurt that she actually took that whole situation of what happened in Houston. Basically alludes to the fact that that experience in Houston was going to motivate her to possibly go back to using those substances, then in turn making her audience look at Nick Snyder some kind of way. Now, honey, opinion time, opinions. Okay, so let's just start off with the, the whole everybody hanging out together. Everybody's out here saying that they should have been more, you know, drama. Listen, when people are hanging out with each other, they just chill, okay? Nobody's sitting here thinking, oh, let's just do it for the views. They don't have nothing to talk about. That's on them because, you know, at the end of the day, remember, YouTube is their job. Let them talk about themselves and what they're going on. They're showing you the real, true transparency between you as the audience um, and you as their subscribers and, and, you know, their dynamic with each other. I think that's like, a true thing <laughs> to actually be you know appreciative of because they didn't give you a character you know what i'm saying they actually gave you the true essence of themselves and that allows you to be able to draw close to them now the situation between petty page and ashley kyle to be honest with you guys i do not know who ashley kyle is i do not know who here for the tea is i do not know okay because i'm just new to this whole drama game all right <laughs> that being said i'm not gonna pretend here and speak disparagingly about them but from what i can hear regarding this particular situation if what was said is true and ashley kyle decided to befriend here for the tea despite the fact that here for the tea is um speaking poorly about petty page's child Listen, if you are my friend, I'm not going to I'm not going to tell you who and who you can't be friends with, but if I find out that you are befriending somebody who has actively said that they don't like me, who has targeted me as a person, it makes me question you and makes me question what sort of conversation that you have about me to other people because I don't I don't know. I have mixed views about this because in one instance I will say that if you got beef between this person and this person, that ain't got nothing to do with me. And I get that. I get that narrative. The other part of me questions if you really and truly can have a, a relationship with this person without bringing up negativity about me. Especially knowing what they've done. Especially when it comes to a child. You can say whatever you want to about an adult, but when it comes to a child, that's a different story altogether. It's kind of weird. It's a whole matter of loyalty. Now, I don't know who Smokey Glow is either, but if everything that was said in here is true <laughs> regarding her, I did appreciate the fact that everybody else um, was just saying, look, we wish you well, and we wish that your video didn't go off and make it seem like, oh, we're gonna cancel you out if you start making videos and speaking out against each other. It seems like these, the micro um, drama channels or influencers um, seem to be <laughs> feeling threatened by the bigger ones. But honestly guys, just if you are in this field, I feel like everybody should speak their truth regardless of the fear that's associated with it because you're gonna pick up some people along the way who are like, yeah, I feel the same way as you and you don't want to allow somebody else to control your like narrative and your ability to speak out. I know some people are trolls out here, but I don't know, they got the police for a reason, fam. Moving on! <laughs> Guys, they got a whole forum on this girl. A whole 920 posts made about her in one cohesive, long forum that starts from 2017. That's serious, and she comes from my home state, New Jersey. So, see by Allie. She got some stuff about her, girl. She got some stuff of this hot chocolate. It's hot, it burnt my tongue a little bit. So, blah, blah, blah. so based off of what I can see, this girl here, when it comes to the homophobia, if you come out with a whole text message incriminating yourself and saying that you 
you used somebody who you call your friend. You, mind you, they're not best friends or nothing, but they're friends. So you use the reputation of your friends and you didn't even tell him that you were doing this. I can't imagine you taking somebody else's image and deciding to drag them through the mud and take their reputation and then just crumble it into nothing just to test other people around you. That already shows what type of person you are. I like cracked up when Nick was like, I could tell what type of person you are when you, you know, you cheated in a Monopoly and you were supposed to put down a 20 and you put, put down a five. And I was like, <laughs> like, why would you pay attention to something like that? But you know what? It just told a lot about her person because her honesty wasn't there, okay? Her honesty was not there. I don't know, mixed feelings about the situation because you come out with this whole text saying that you're t testing somebody. That already shows that if you have to test your friends, that's already an issue. You should just drop them if that's the case. You need to move on and get you some people that you can actually trust because if you're sitting here testing it, you should not put your friends to the test. I don't know, that's just me. Me, just me. All right, we're two different people, honey. When it comes to sobriety and when, when it comes to something revolving around people battling addiction, I don't ever feel like the issues of addiction should be public conversation with other people, especially when it comes to these two people. From what I understand, both of them, uh, Nick Snyder and Allie, they both have decided to share their battles with addiction with their audience um, to also help to better them too. And then you know, share their struggles and trials and tribulations with their addictions is very admirable for both of them. However, what I have been seeing from a lot of the audience, unfortunately, a lot of people like to take someone's um, battles with addiction and throw it in their face. Um, I've seen some ugly comments directed at Ali. Um, I'm going to insert some, but I'm going to block out their name because I don't uh, I don't want any hatred to come on to anybody because it's uncalled for. It's from what I know, this person also had deleted their Twitter because of the harassment of people dropping on her or him, whoever it was. Ali, if you ever get to see this video, my only concern with you is that, especially you as somebody who battles with addiction, why would you make that public conversation with everybody? Because your intention, the way Nick spoke of you at um, his function, at his party, when you went into the kitchen and you took the bottle away from him and you said, no, what are you doing? And you actually genuinely got upset. I felt like that was a beautiful thing because you were concerned. And even Nick said that he understood why you did so and he appreciated you doing so because you were looking out for him. And that's very commendable. However, the whole fact that she went there after and decided to consult his enemies, to consult your mutual friends, and then to insinuate that whole scenario was going to cause you to relapse. I think that was a lapse of judgment in your case. It was a severe lack of judgment. I don't wanna to go too in depth with that. Um, that is for your own conscious, whatever your conscious allows you to go through and feel that is your business, all right? But I don't know, don't, I, I would say to anybody who's watching this, if it's a, nobody, nobody in this earth is just like, oh, I'm gonna wake up and become an addict. I'm going to be addicted to something that could potentially harm me. Yes, let's do that. Like, who's doing that? Who? They're doing, listen, any addict will tell you they either tried something because somebody told them to or they do it for escapism. But we're, just not, we're not even going to go into that because addiction to me, it's a real disease, guys. It's a real disease. It messes you up. So. Nick Snyder, if you ever see this video, I commend you on your journey of being sober. If you want to take a drink and have a little cocktail, you do so, fam. As long as you are healthy and you're happy and you are not doing the things that were previously causing harm to you internally, you do you, boo. Allie, I also wish you the best, honey, but, <laughs> no, not but, and I want you to better yourself, too. Allie, I wish you the best. Continue on your journey of sobriety and I wish you success. All right, guys, so if you enjoyed that video, please like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that bell notification to receive further updates anytime that I upload. And all my social media will be linked down in the description bar below. If you guys felt like I missed anything, please, please, please drop it in the comment section down below because I want to know. And I want you guys to always inform the people who are watching the correct information. All right. <laughs> But that's all I have for you guys. And if you guys do enjoy these videos, let me know. Because y'all was tight quiet in the last video. Um, 
the only people who were like real loud with it were the people hitting that dislike button. I don't know what y'all have with Luscious Massacre. Why, why y'all is mad at me? We're not gonna really go into that. Anyway, guys, I love you so, so much. And bye!